changes for you allow you to do? I mean, the biggest thing for me is just um, just being solid at the point of attack. I feel like you know a big point of emphasis for us is defending the A and B gaps, and everything kind of starts inside and goes outside. So definitely just being strong, having you know a strong core, like that's the thing I kind of incorporate into my you know into my workouts and stuff for my well-being as well. But definitely for playing this off for sure. Yeah, I think I'm going to ask you about Larry Allen. You right. were asked about him last week, right? And kind of a reflection of just how crazy life can be. Right. I have to ask you about him again. What your thoughts are on obviously a horrible sudden loss. Right. I mean, obviously, you know, my you know my thoughts and prayers go to the family. You know, obviously, nobody no, nobody was expecting it. You know, he was still a still a relatively young, middle-aged guy, but he's still young and. You know, it's just, I mean, like you said, life is short. Like, uh, last week, y'all asked me a question about him. I kind of talked about him a little bit. And I actually, I had never, you know, met him in real life yet. I, I kind of was thinking about that earlier. I was, like, talking to my mom because she had seen my interview or whatever. I was just kind of like, yeah, you know, I wonder, you know, if I, you know, get to meet him. You know, that's just, you know, that's part of life. You know, life is short. Things happen. And so, definitely just, you know, prayers of the family. You know, a big loss in the football world, but definitely, you know, for his people, for sure. We're in 73. How much pride have you taken in that, knowing that that was, you know, something that he did, occupied for so long? I mean, I've always taken pride in it. And, uh, I mean, it really started, with, you know, the first, that day my name was called. I felt like, you know, just coming in here, you know, contributing to the room and, you know, always, you know, taking care of the culture the right way. You know, uh, being the best that I could possibly be, you know, and honoring, you know, those who have sacrificed for me and those, you know, who have sacrificed before me for sure. So. It's always huge for me, and you know, I, you know, I continue to wear it well for sure. Could you imagine lifting 700 pounds? Uh, I, you know, I have had 700 pounds on my back, never um on my chest though. So you know, we'll, we'll kind of see. You know, I think Larry was like, you know, he was he was a little older when he did that. So you know, give me a couple of years, and you know, maybe I'll start attempts and stuff like that. But not, not yet. I saw someone say that the discrepancy sometimes in talent in college can be pretty vast. You see guys throwing dudes around in college. Doesn't really happen in the NFL. He was able to do that though. What's it like just watching? When you see some of the highlights and what he was able to do, I mean, I mean, it's beautiful to see. You know, just you know the the presence that he had on the field, the strength that he had on the field, the you know the athleticism he had. You know, it's kind of you know it's really you know one of those things that's unique to this sport. You know, it's you know, beautiful violence. So, I mean, he'll definitely be missed. You know, the things he did will never be forgotten for sure. Coach McCarthy Thanks. today said that um, this is the best rookie class that he's seen. Can you just speak to that and what you've seen from this rookie class? I mean, as far as the O-line room goes, like, you know, I've been blown away. Like, we got, we went out and got a great athletes, great football players, and Coop, Tyler, and uh, Nathan. And they're just, they're extremely athletic guys, guys who have a lot of upside, guys who are learning fast, who, who, who really have come in pretty polished already. And, you know, we're just working them on learning the offense and kind of, you know, cleaning up technique things. But extremely impressed so far. We'll see what happens, but there's a chance week one you're going to have a rookie starting on either side of you. As a veteran now, have you found yourself kind of taking a different approach a little bit when yeah. you come to the room? I definitely do. Um, just in terms of, you know, keeping them up to speed because, you know, I know I know the things, you know, I struggle with my first year and like it's a lot, you know, learning new offense, you know, just going through stuff like that. And so definitely just giving the tricks of the trade that I can, just making it easier for them from the onset. And the quicker that we kind of, you know, gel together and, you know, learn each other and learn the offense together, I just feel like we'll play that much better. So that's kind of been my focus so far. You ever hear the advice that Jason Peters would give to you? You've given it now to Tyler. Yeah, yeah. You know, little stuff like, you know, get to like get to your spot. Like, you know, gang ground on the first step. Like, little stuff J JP always told me. Just understanding rushers as well. And we really haven't gotten into that because we're not scouting anybody. But, you know, that's all stuff that, you know, luckily I, I've written down in my in my gospel and my notebook. So mm -hmm. I don't have to go too far for it. But definitely just, you know, passing that on and kind of keeping in line with that always improving the culture thing. Yeah.